When it comes to making money online by leveraging social media, the platforms that's gonna come to your mind is TikTok and Instagram, never Pinterest. Pinterest is usually overlooked for the most part, yet Pinterest has a staggering 478 million active monthly users and offers significant money-making opportunities. Did you know that a whopping 90% of Pinterest millions of visitors find that Pinterest influences their shopping choices? 78% appreciate the brand content that's popping up in their feed when they're on Pinterest. Plus, a good 66% end up buying something that they spotted on Pinterest. And interestingly enough, Pinterest drives 33% more shoppers to websites when compared to platforms like Facebook. These metrics, in addition to the millions of visitors, paired with the unpopularity of Pinterest as a platform that can make money for me, and it should for you as well, it presents a key advantage as Pinterest, which is punched with so much power with its low saturation when compared to other social media platform, it's going to increase your probability to earn if you apply strategies that allow you to do so. So in this video, I will be sharing four proven strategies that allow people to make as much as 1500 US dollars every single week using Pinterest. Welcome back Rockstars and thank you so much for clicking play when this video popped up. Now you are a Rockstar because you have subscribed to this channel which is the Rockstar Academy and I want to take a moment as well to thank the Patreon Club members and the Patreon subscribers or the YouTube members. I really appreciate all your support. Let's jump right into this video. Pinterest is a social media platform that allows users to discover, collect, and even share images, videos, and other content types through collecting them and placing them on something known as a board. Now, when I first heard this explanation, I was utterly confused. And I don't know if it's because I'm close to 50. And when I think about board, I think about chart board, cart board, bulletin board. I'm not thinking about a digital board. So it took me a while to conceptualize exactly what Pinterest is. So let me break it down for those who are like me, who are a little bit on the slower side. Imagine Pinterest. Do you remember those cart board or even the bulletin board at your workplace but imagine that you have that cart board in your home or the bulletin board at work where you can pin literally pin on that cart board or paste with tape on that bulletin board pictures and anything that you like or want to remember this can be done with your own creation, like you can pin up there a family recipe or you can use an image of a house that you saw somewhere that you like and you don't want to forget. In the case of Pinterest, the cardboard or the bulletin board, it's now digital and the internet is where you're going to find these pins, which of course are the pictures. Now you can do videos because it's digital, different ideas, different different inspirations, just like how you would pin that recipe and that house photo, you're gonna pin those things from the internet on your digital board, which is Pinterest. And Pinterest functions as a visual search engine, allowing users to search for specific terms and discover relatable pins and images that address whatever query they have. Additionally, Pinterest offers social media features through home and following feeds where users can explore content that they like and follow other Pinterest users. That said, let's move to how we're gonna make money without followers on Pinterest. The thing about Pinterest is whether you have one follower, 
10 follower, zero follower, or 100 followers, if you're posting content that is interesting enough, you're gonna get views. These are the views for the pins that you have shared. And because you don't have to create the pins from scratch, you can repost other people's pins and put them on your board. It makes it easier for you to get views without one, creating content, and two, without any large or any following for that matter. Now to leverage Pinterest to make money, I recommend you create a business account. That way you can see the number of views plus other critical analytics that we're gonna use to our advantage. You will also be able to leverage ads on the platform if you have a desire to do so with a business profile. The first thing we're gonna do to get our theme page going is we're gonna select a niche. And I recommend you select one from the prominent categories to include health, wealth, or relationships. You're gonna also choose a sub niche because you don't want to be out there in the saturated niche. So as an example, under health, you can choose weight loss or fitness, or under wealth, you can choose making money online as a sub niche. You're gonna create a unique name for your Pinterest theme page. And this is where we're gonna go to our dear friend, ChatGPT, and you can use the free version for what I'm about to share. All you have to do is to type this prompt in ChatGPT. Give me unique Pinterest theme page name ideas for this niche. And you're gonna insert the niche and the sub niche that you choose. For this example, we're gonna go with health and weight loss as our sub niche. And I like this one, I'm gravitating towards it, which is healthy habits Haven, pretty catchy, and it uses alliteration, H, H, H. Anyway, let's set up our Pinterest business account. If you already have a Pinterest personal account, you can actually convert it to a business account if you would like, that way you're not starting from scratch, but it doesn't hurt to start from scratch if you'd like, because remember, you don't need a lot of following to do what I'm about to share with you. Simply design a logo for your business account, and again, you can use ChatGPT to do this, but you're gonna need the paid version. If you have the paid version, just use Use this prompt, create a logo with bright colors and a modern design with graphics and then you describe your niche here. For my prompt, I'm gonna say with graphics of healthy food options and symbols of weight loss with the text healthy habits haven. Again, you need to modify this prompt based on your niche and your sub niche. Now, ChatGPT is not at the place yet where it's gonna get the spelling and so on right the first time, but just regenerate a few times until you get it right and choose a logo that you like. If you don't have the paid version of ChatGPT, you can use a Canva or one of those platforms to create a logo. Now on my third generation in ChatGPT of the logo, I got this one here. Isn't this cool? Healthy Habits Haven. And you see the different representation of health, like the tape measure and the fruits and the vegetables and so on. I'm loving it. You can also link your website if you have one or your blog if you have one on Pinterest when you're setting up your profile. Now you need to craft a concise bio because people tend to look at these things when they're deciding how to interact with a page and if the page is credible enough to recommend things to them. We're gonna use ChatGPT and you can use the free version with this prompt. Write me a concise bio for my Pinterest theme page for this niche and sub niche. And as you can see here, ChatGPT is gonna give us something that we can simply copy and paste and it will work as a great bio or profile for your Pinterest business account. Now we're gonna start posting on Pinterest and we're gonna do so with an objective to make money. With your Pinterest business account created, you need to be very active. You need to be pinning things, following others and commenting for what I'm about to share to work but you're on social media anyway so just do it 
or do whatever it is that you are already doing, but this time it's gonna be worth your while because it's gonna make you some extra money. The key to success with Pinterest, believe it or not, is activity. Get on Pinterest every day if you can, and listen, it only takes a few minutes to create a dozen pins as an example, especially with the method that I'm gonna show you now. Just go to Canva, or you can use other graphics platform. Just search Canva for Pinterest, pins as I'm doing here and you will get many templates that you can pick from. All you have to do is to modify or personalize a template that you like based on your niche as I'm doing here. Download it as a video or a photo depending on the pin you're trying to create and upload it on Pinterest. This step is important because later I'm gonna show you how to use these pins that you create and other people's pins to earn. Now let's talk about the strategies to make money on Pinterest. And the first one is we're gonna leverage the Pinterest affiliate marketing option. Referring affiliate products on Pinterest and earning a commission when someone purchases the product that you referred with your link is an easy, a passive, and a great way to make some extra money without any following. You can watch this video here to register for affiliate programs, and I recommend you apply to as many as you possibly can. And in this other video here, I actually suggest affiliate programs that don't require you to have a lot of following for you to qualify. As a matter of fact, for most of them, you just sign up and you're ready to go. You don't even have to wait for an approval. I'm gonna put the link for these two videos in the description of this video so you can easily get that knowledge because you're gonna need it to be able to set up your affiliate links that you'll use in conjunction with your pins when you're posting them on Pinterest. Just select products or services that you want to promote from these affiliates that you have identified, whether it's Amazon affiliates or ClickBank or one of those, and make sure it aligns as well with your niche and also what people on Pinterest will be interested in because relevance is key to ensuring that your pins add value to the followers or your audience. You are gonna need to write a compelling description, but importantly, this is how you get views. Your description needs to include keywords that are related to your pin. This description also needs to clearly explain what the pin is about and how the product or service that you are talking about, which obviously you're recommending, will add value or benefit the user or your audience. Now, when you have created this pin, whether it's a video or an image, or you're sharing somebody else's pin that has something to do with a product that you are referring from an affiliate marketing perspective, this is how you're gonna do it. You're gonna have the option to add a website or a URL or the domain name. And this is where you're gonna insert your affiliate link. Make sure that the link is again directly related to the content or the pin and make sure as well that it leads the clicker or the user or your audience to the product or the service that you're trying to promote. Avoid using URL shorteners because these sometimes will get flagged on Pinterest. You can do this with everything. Products, courses, people's books, whatever it is, just create a pin that's relevant, attach the link in the description, and while you're sleeping, people are clicking and you're making passive income. Now, you're not gonna get a million views on day one. This is gonna take time and effort, but with continuity, activity, and creating good pins and leveraging this strategy, it can make you up to $1,500 a week. Make sure you update content regularly on Pinterest. Make sure you keep your content fresh and that you regularly update your boards with new pins and even refresh existing pins with new images or descriptions to keep your content engaging. To make $1,500 US dollars in a week, let's 
say you are earning about $30 every time somebody clicks a link and that's your commission, you will need to get 50 sales, meaning 50 people clicking your link and buying a product from all those affiliate marketing platforms in a week, not a day, 50 sales in a week, which for seven days works out to seven clicks and buys per day, which is not that hard when you think about the millions of people that are on Pinterest. And assuming a conversion rate of 1%, meaning every 100 people that your pin shows up for, only one will buy it, you will need 700 daily visitors converting at 1% to make your 1500 US dollars in a week. Doesn't seem too ridiculous or too hard to achieve now does it consistency however is the key now let's move to the second option to making money on pinterest which is to sell products and services on the platform now you can promote your physical or digital products on the actual pinterest platform and do so and of course make money when people buy those products you can even get a merchant verified setup on Pinterest where you can sell directly on the platform. Now for physical products, again, you need to use high quality, visually appealing images that actually do a good job of showcasing your products. And you can use Canva for this as well. Lifestyle images that show how your products are being used in real life and creating situations with your products actually being used to achieve its outcome can also be pretty effective when it comes to physical products. When it comes to digital products, since digital products cannot be photographed necessarily, you can create compelling graphics that explain how that product works. And in doing so, just make sure you show how the product can benefit others. Make sure as well that you include clear, readable text overlays and again, I can't say it enough, engage in visuals. Now, I recommend you grow your Pinterest account organically, but if you're one of them who want things to happen now, you can use Pinterest ads to promote your best performing pins or new products to a wider audience. You can target your ads based on people's interests, based on demographics and even behaviors, and then in doing so, reach potential customers who are likely to be interested in your product and what it has to offer. Make sure you enable certain shopping features that may be available in certain regions. But an example of this is using Pinterest shopping features like Shop tab if it's available where you're located. Shop tab actually allows users to browse and shop your products directly there in Pinterest as I'd alluded to earlier. Now to make 1500 US dollars per week as an example, let's say the average product that you're selling could be this fan which actually sells for about $50. Now you will need to sell 30 of these fans or whatever your product type is per week which works out to four sales per day. That's all. And again, it won't happen immediately, but it will take time, but it's possible. Four sales per day is definitely possible. And at $50 on average, you're gonna make your 1500 US dollars every single week. Now let's move on to option three to make money with Pinterest, which is to do so by leveraging brand deals. Now brand deals are when you as the Pinterest account holder partners with different brands that are gonna pay you to either create pins or to share pins or to pin them in some way, shape or form to the content that you're creating. You can choose as an example to charge $500 per month for 30 pins when you're just getting started and create one pin per day for that particular brand. And as your views grow, not your following because nobody cares about the following on Pinterest, as your views grow, you can start charging these brands more money for your pins. And the fourth way, which for me is one of the most effective ways that you can leverage Pinterest to make money is to get views for different things with the use of a blog. 
This unique aspect of Pinterest is the ability to link an article or a blog to each pin that you create or repost and as such driving traffic to your blog and generating revenue in many different ways. So from this one income stream, you'll probably have four or five streams of income coming from it. Now you can use the model that I shared in this video here where I show you how to use Google Blogger to create free blogs that you can actually monetize with Google AdSense after you have built up a bit of traffic and start getting paid for your ads. I'm gonna also put the link in the description below for this video so you can watch it to launch your blogging platform. You won't need a website, you won't need to be technical, very simple steps that you should follow to be able to create this blogging platform that you can use free of cost. In this other video here, I also share how to create blogs using AI. You don't have to be an intellect. You don't have to be great at English language or be an awesome writer to create blogs anymore. Absolutely not. So I'm going to put the link for this video as well in the description below. So now that you have a video video to watch to get your blog into and a video to watch to be able to create blogs within minutes start blogging on your blogging tool and then what you're gonna do is go over to Pinterest post pins whether you're reposting or creating pins and then link your blog to these pins to generate traffic that's gonna go towards your blog as I've shared in several videos, I have a blog that I do on my personal website, odettarocketcar.com. I don't really advertise it per se. And that blog got 900 views in one day when I just started. It was within the first month of me getting started. And I share that time period to show you the possibilities and what can happen in a very short time. And it paid me upwards of 80 US dollars for one day where I got a little over 900 views. So you don't need a lot of views with these blogs when you leverage platforms like Google AdSense to make money that can change lives. Because if you can get $80 for only 900 views, if you do five times the amount of views, which is five nines, 4,500 views in a day, you're gonna make 80 times five, which 80 times five, 80 times two is 160. Guys, the brain isn't working. 80 times five, that's 400 US dollars in one day. Just because somebody clicked your pin on Pinterest, it took them to your blog, and 4,500 people viewed that blog in one day. Now at $400 per day, that's $12,000 per month, the kind of money that you can retire from your job with. Anyway, we're talking about 1500 US dollars here. So when you start getting some traction on your blog, just monetize it by going to Google AdSense and I'll put the Google AdSense link in the description of this video. But I also talk about it on the video related to Blogger when you watch it and how to get qualified to start earning from views for your blogs. To make your $1,500 per week, which equates to $214 per day, you're only gonna need 2,400 people to view or go on your blog from Pinterest. And that's 2,400 people daily. Considering again the millions of viewers that are on Pinterest, that number pales in comparison. Now, in addition to leveraging AdSense and making money when people view, when you actually post those blogs, you can actually talk about something. Let's say I'm talking about, okay, summer is coming up in Jamaica, whether you're menopausal or you're just out every day in the heat, this fan that actually blows here could be a life changer when it comes to comfort. And you write a blog about that and then you just link the affiliate link for this fan in there in the blog, now you're making two different money or money two different ways from that same blog because you're getting paid when people view it plus you're getting an affiliate commission when people click the products that you're referring in your blog the links that is and buying these products another way is let's say you have a book 
you can write a book and reference something about your book whether it's a planner a full-fledged book like I showed you how to create these recipe books and these kids books using AI here in minutes let's say you have one just reference it in your blog when someone visits your blog you get paid for the view then they click and buy your book you're getting paid twice because they're buying your product and this could apply to digital or physical products as well now what I'm showing you can be done on a blog without Pinterest obviously if you are able to get traffic to your blog people can click your affiliate link and purchase the product and you earn or people can buy your product products there and you earn but here's why using Pinterest to do it has a bigger impact because it has been proven that Pinterest when compared to platforms like Facebook and other social media platforms in pushing traffic to different things as I shared earlier in the statistics is most effective and one of the best methods to do so which is why I am here cheering Pinterest on as a mechanism for delivering better results I don't know if it's because people who are on Pinterest are a little bit more serious so when they click they're more likely to buy or the fact that they're on there if they click on something they're gonna explore it I have no idea why but the numbers don't lie that rhymes rock stars anyway you can make money on Pinterest without a following leveraging those four methods and rock stars if you learned anything of value in this video I would really appreciate you liking it and if you're not yet a rock star go ahead and subscribe I thank you in advance for your support until next time walk good Sick and tired of contemplating I don't